In this video, we're going to talk about the depth drop. This is a drill or exercise that's performed to help athletes get used to and learn the proper landing technique. And when we land, one of the, my favorite cues is make sure you land how you load. Meaning if I'm going to jump and I load here, I want to land here. So I'm giving what's called co-contractile force, my body the ability to absorb it, not just in my bones and my tendons, but using my muscles. Now on a depth drop, it's very simple. Eight, 12 inch box, if you're uh, more elite, maybe a 20 inch box. You're gonna step up and all you're gonna do is step off, not jump, step off the box and land as quietly as possible. Notice the feet position, roughly under my hips, inside my shoulders, knees, not caving in. Repeating this is critical. We wanna get the body used to a good, healthy position. We do a depth drop, we never wanna come in here, knees valgus. If you're landing valgus on a depth drop, you're certainly landing valgus on an actual jump and landing on the court. Now, to make this a little more volleyball specific, what we recommend doing is taking the box and putting it a couple feet from the net. Why is that? A lot of athletes, when they do a depth drop, land beautifully here, great position, but then when they're landing and there's a net in front of them, land like this, much more upright, a lot more stress on the hips and back. So if you're doing a depth drop, highly recommend putting it in front of a net and making sure you land the same exact way you do if you're not, right? Toes and head pretty much in line, nice and healthy. Now, if you're looking to track this, you can actually do so with the Vert app and Vert Performance Monitor because it can measure landing impacts. Link in the description below.